Hey everybody, so today I'm here to do another video in the exclusively pumping series here on my channel. If you guys haven't checked out my other videos, I will have the entire playlist linked down below for you. But today I'm going to be going over my exclusively pumping essentials and must-haves. Now, I did a must-haves at the end of a EP video like almost two years ago, so I thought it would be very beneficial to do an updated version. Also, the first bit of stuff is going to be essentials stuff that I really do believe you should have. And then there are a few things at the end that I'm calling my must-haves because they are still essential to me. However, I could see how someone who's maybe on a tighter budget or just wants to be conscious of not having a lot of extra stuff, you know, that might not be essential to them. However, everything that I mentioned in this video, I still use to this day. It's still something that I recommend to moms and it's hands down my stuff that I go to. I also want to mention that a lot of this stuff I do have reviews on. I will link as many reviews as I have down in the drop box as well. I'm going to have links to as much as I can also down below in case you're interested in purchasing it. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in because I do have a little bit of a list. So the very first thing is a pump with a battery option. Now this one is disposable batteries that you just pop in the back here and you just replace them when they go dead. There are pumps out there that have a rechargeable battery, just kind of depends. Like I said, I have several different press pump reviews. I'll have those linked, but I find that having the battery option just kind of alleviates you from a lot of what ifs. What if I'm in the car? What if my power goes out? What if I need a pump while I'm out and I'm not near an outlet? A battery pack is going to solve so many of those issues for you. One of my biggest necessities is making sure that I have enough parts to get through an entire day of pumping and I'll just wash them once in the morning and I'm just done. I know that sounds like a lot, it is a lot, but honestly it keeps me on track. That way there's no excuses, I can just grab them and go. And it really does help me stay to my schedule because I get really unmotivated. I don't want to go wash those, I don't want to take the 30 minutes to do all that. It's a lot of work. But now I found that having a whole day's worth of pump parts has really helped me keep on track. So I definitely recommend that too. Next up are bottles, obviously. Now you can pump straight into the bottles that you're feeding from. And there's a lot of different adapters out there. So say you use Tommy Tippy, something that's a little bit wider. You have a more narrow kind of pump part. There's a lot of different adapters. So whatever bottle you plan to feed from, see if you can't pump into it. See if they offer an adapter if it doesn't fit your pump. Just try to look around for that. However, for someone like me, my daughter is now grown out of bottles, so I don't need to pump into those, although I did at the time. However, I also didn't have as many feeding bottles as I did as often as I was pumping. So I would use cheaper bottles and pump into these. These are just regular Gerber bottles. I got a pack of three of them for like $3 at Walmart. Super, super cheap. You can find a whole bunch of different cheap options to pump into so you're not spending extra money on bottles that you're just gonna pump into. Next up is nursing tanks, nursing bras, and nursing gowns. Now I know this kind of sounds strange being in an exclusively pumping video, but hear me out. Nursing tanks were so comfortable because you sit down, I pull this shirt up, I actually have a nursing tank on underneath of here, but pull this shirt up, I flip it down, and I'm ready to pump. Like, it's that easy, so I live in nursing wear. So, the first thing that I have for you is this nursing bra. This hands down is my favorite nursing bra whatsoever. This is it. This is the Bravado Body Silk Seamless, I do believe. I will correct myself right here, obviously. It's a, it's a mouthful, so I might be getting it wrong. But this, hands down, is my favorite nursing bra. Very supportive, highly recommend it. This is a nursing nightgown that I got from Target. As you can see, the top here has the nursing clips, and it's a nightgown. It is amazing. I sleep in that. It's supportive without giving me a whole bunch of clogs when I wake up. Now as far as tank tops, and this is what I lived in when I had Sophie, I got the Target Gilligan and O'Malley brand, which I did like. As you can see, I have stuff hanging off at this point. Still works really well, so I still wear the crap out of these. However, I went to go get a, a couple replacement tank tops because mine started doing this, and they weren't nearly as supportive as what they used to be. I don't know if that's a fluke. I would try one to see if it's 
you know, good supportive wise. However, the old ones were really, really nice. And even the one that's not super supportive, I just wear it around the house. It's still really nice to have. However, if you're looking for a very supportive nursing tank, pumping tank, whatever, this is my go-to. This is the Bravado nursing tank. Love, love, love this. And I can't say enough good things about all this stuff. That is what I live in. If I have a regular shirt on, you can guarantee one of those things are on underneath of me. So I can't begin to recognize recommend those enough. They're just very comfortable. Next up is a water bottle. This is my go-to Contigo. It's huge. It holds 32 ounces. Love this thing. You need to be staying hydrated. Part of taking care of your kids is taking care of yourself. I highly recommend this one, although I am on the hunt for a non-plastic version. So if you know, let me know down below. I need something that holds a lot of water because I love water. Next up is coconut oil. This is to lube your flange. I will be putting in a little infographic right here to explain what I mean. It's going to add to the comfort while uh, pumping. Now, me personally, coconut oil kind of makes me a little bit slippery in there, if you know what I'm saying. I do like my nipple cushions as well. I'll be putting a picture right here. I think I have those packed away. I couldn't find them. I definitely recommend these. If you're not a huge fan of coconut oil, these are amazing, even if you haven't even tried the coconut oil. I recommend one of these. It'll be life-changing when it comes to your pumping game. Next up are these Little Bud Comfort Packs. These can be used hot or cold, definitely recommend these. I have tried a lot of different versions when it comes to stuff like this, and these are the ones that I recommend the most because they are amazing. I don't have to worry about these drying out, getting funky in between kids. They're very well made. Love, love, love them, and I use them quite often. Next up is probably something that you will hear from moms who EP over and over again, a hands-free pumping bra. You really do need it. Now, if you are super super pressed for money and can't afford to go buy one you can make your own by making slits into a bra that you already have pretty simple just put your bra on make marks at where your nipples are just cut a little slit in there you're good to go so that is an option but if you do have a little bit of extra money you're looking for options i've got a few here for you so if you are interested in using those bravado things that i talked about bravado has a really nice clip and pump love this thing it is so stinking supportive i love it next up if you are under a triple d i highly recommend the simple wishes bra i'm actually going to donate this because i do not fit into it anymore it worked really well for me but i am maxed out on the velcro no longer fits me just hit myself in the face but i do still love it it was a great bra when i wore it also super comfortable and then for you mamas who are not interested in the bravado or you are bigger than a triple d definitely recommend my pump strap this is the older version i do have a newer version and i've done a review on that but that is in the wash right now so i still use my old version when that one's in the wash definitely definitely recommend those those are my favorite hands-free pumping bras next up is some stuff for your nipples that is nipple balm this one is my favorite this is honest company doesn't have any smell nothing for baby to taste anything like that it's also lanolin free i do believe but really really love this one also some apno i have a recipe on my channel on how to make this this is going to soothe any cracks soreness bleeding all of that funky stuff definitely need a little bit of this on hand you never know when you're going to need it i love reusable nursing pads these are made by milkies love them they're super soft really comfortable i will say the only time i use disposables is if i'm going to have like a tight shirt and a tight bra on otherwise i'm rocking the the uh, reusable ones the one thing that i forgot to grab was breast milk storage bags obviously this is also a no-brainer you're going to need to keep these on hands i have a review already on my channel of like 13 different ones and in mid-september i am going to be coming out with a second version with uh more bags i don't know the exact number but i know that it's at least 13 more so be on the lookout for that however it's kind of at your discretion whatever brand that you use i will say that as of my recent research lansano right now is the cheapest at ten dollars for a hundred pack so i would definitely recommend looking into some breast milk storage bags a little bit about the cleaning i definitely recommend the boone drying rack i have two of them now because i have so many parts so many bottles all that stuff love those still to this day 
pipe cleaners are the one thing that I just ran out of. I'll insert a little picture right here so you know exactly what I'm talking about. These are great for all the nooks and crannies that you can't reach inside of your pump parts. These are amazing. Make sure you have some of those. My favorite bottle brush is still the OXO brand. Yes, that's what it's called. Love this one. Super soft, easy to get in and out of the uh, bottle without it spraying you in the face. And then my favorite soap, hands down, is the seventh generation. This is very affordable. This is a 25 fluid ounce bottle, and it is normally about $3 at my Walmart versus whatever that baby bottle stuff is. I used to buy that stuff. Then I tried this. It doesn't have any scents. It's not color it's not going to make your bottles gross this is amazing also i highly recommend having some kind of container for your storage parts i will have an amazon link to this however please know that i bought this at target for about like 15 bucks 16 dollars and it's on amazon for 30. i do think that it's worth it i like it i would have paid 30 dollars for it but i do want to kind of put that out there it's annoying so if you can find this second hand or at a target I would definitely pick it up there instead however as you can see it has a lockable lid up here and then it has these top trays and this can pull out and then i have all my bottles and everything underneath so this is what i keep on top of my fridge it keeps all my stuff nice and clean away from the dust and i like that it locks on so i'm not pulling something off of there and it's spilling all over the place in case i drop it which i do but I would definitely recommend that if you can't find this one exactly just go with the sterilite container kind of like this I mean just throw it all in there maybe put all the lids in a ziploc baggie and your connectors and flange in a different baggie you really can make anything work so don't think you need one specific thing and next up is the travel stuff we took a brief intermission because my battery died but like I was saying this is the stuff that I need while I'm out and about and pumping if I need things to stay cold for super super long like I'm talking like an entire day is worth i will bring my fisher price bottle bag this thing is amazing i've talked about it before it's got little cinches down here to keep your bottles in place it's insulated very very thickly has a bunch of pockets love this bag can't say enough good things about it i've had it for a really long time too then this is my favorite ice brick which i know is kind of silly but honestly this one made by medela is amazing if you completely freeze this it'll stay cold for so long longer than any other ice pack i've ever found so if you're constantly using one i highly recommend this i do believe they even sell those separately so definitely look into that and then my favorite pump bag as of right now filming this is the bag that my Sonata came in actually not a huge fan of that pump but I love this bag I have used the Ella Alana bag and I've used a couple other pump bags honestly those were amazing but I started carrying less and less and my pumps also became smaller and smaller so I have kind of converted myself over to this one but as far as the bag goes i just want to mention you don't need a specific bag like i said i've used a lot of different ones i've even used diaper bags as a pump bag you can use a 31 bag get it customized with your name on it you can use a bag from target walmart do whatever you need to your pump doesn't have to go in a specific pump bag although i will say that those ones do tend to make it easier there's stuff to lace the cords in a certain way so you're not like jumbling around with them that's also kind of the perk of the Ella Alana. It's made specifically for a pump, so it makes things a little bit easier. However, you shouldn't have to feel like you have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a breast pump bag, especially if you don't have that money. So I would definitely look into whatever you can. Now, the last bit of stuff is, like I said, it's not necessarily essential, but it is definitely still in my must-haves. The first one being Pump Log. Now, this is an app, and I will try to link to it in the description down below. As as far as I know, as of right now, it's still an iOS app only, meaning it's only for Apple users. However, I think that a Android app may be in the works. It does cost $5, I do believe, but you only use that once and you can download and uninstall and re-download for the rest of your life. I love this app. It's very, very crucial for me, especially in the early days of exclusively pumping when I'm trying to build my stash. I haven't used it in quite some time because now I'm just donating all extra, but it is definitely my favorite pumping app of all time. This little guy right here is called a Lactolite and he just goes on your flange and he lights up. Like I said, I have a review of this as well. I will link all my reviews below, but this is amazing for car rides, for when Mark and I are playing our video games, we're watching a 
Game of Thrones, whatever it is, I love this thing. It's really, really simple. Like I said, not necessarily essential, but it is for me because we do have the lights off in the living room quite a bit. Next up is the steam bags. Now you can go the old school route of sterilizing, but honestly, as an exclusive pumper, I have so many parts, especially when the new baby is coming. I just like to do it as quick as possible. Now, these things are completely optional for some. However, for me, they're an essential. So I just kind of put it in this middle ground here, but it's a cover. Now I do have my covered goods nursing cover. You guys have seen this before. It's 360 degrees. You just put your head through this hole, you pull it over yourself, and you obviously have 360 degrees of coverage. I love this thing, but I couldn't find my nursing cover for the life of me. And honestly, I pulled out this scarf that my friend Annie sent me and I have been using it as a cover. It's an infinity scarf and I literally, it's wide enough to just pull over and I just pump like this. It's been amazing. So that just goes to show if you don't have $25 to spend on a nursing cover, go to Walmart, go to Target, get yourself an infinity scarf and there you go girl, you got yourself one. So that for me is definitely crucial. Like I said, some people will pump and not care. That's definitely an option, obviously. Had to take another mommy break because the kids woke up. I sat them down with some popcorn, but you're probably gonna hear a little jibber jabber over there. But the last thing that I have to tell you guys about is spare parts. Now, I put this kind of in the must-haves instead of the essentials, just because I know not everybody has the funds to kind of have this kind of backup preparedness, but if you do have the extra funds, I think keeping extra tubing, extra membranes, that kind of stuff on hand is very, very beneficial. You never know when you're going to notice a decrease in ounces and you change your pump parts and then there you go. All of a sudden, you're back up and working. So I think that it's really crucial. Also, you could have an instance like I did where my one-year-old Remy bit through the tubing on my pump. So I already had a backup. It was really simple. It just had to switch it out. But I was like getting no suction. I was like, what is this? Sure enough, found a little teeth mark in my tubing. She's a little chipmunk. But I definitely recommend that if the funds allow. That is everything. Hopefully this video wasn't too long for you guys. I am also going to be coming out very shortly with an EP basics video. I know that I've done a general, you know, EP kind of, what did I call it? getting started but since then i think i can streamline it make it a little bit simpler so be on the lookout for that if you're a newly expecting mom planning to exclusively pump looking to switch over whatever it might be like i said i'm going to have as many videos everything that i can linked down below so make sure to check that out i'm sure it's going to be a huge list of stuff to look through but yeah, that is everything. My kids are ready for me to be done. So I'm going to jump off here. But if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.